everyone. It's me. Just another quick little um, holiday project. Uh, I picked this, this up. It, it came like this. Right? It says let it snow. It was in a banner form. Let me move these out of the way. Uh, with some yarn. And, you know, you hang it up forever. But when I got it, I got it out of like a, a bargain bin at a thrift store somewhere. And it was all tangled up. So I was looking at these and it's like particle board, right? But they're about a quarter of an inch thick. And I thought these would make perfect coasters, right? Even with the holes in them and everything. So I was kind of sitting on it for a little while and I cut some circles out some of the scrap Christmas paper I have left over to meet and I'm not even sure if I like this Christmas paper for this. It looks pretty, there's a little bit of glitter on it and, um, and I just thought, you know, why not? And I can make some coasters for the holidays. It's a little bit plain for me, so I thought before I do any gluing, let me move this off to the side. That right there, I'm getting a glare pretty good off of my overhead lights. And I can't seem to get my camera to like zoom in. Not since I got the, the arm that I bought for it. So I don't even know if this will work or not, but figure, you know, and I don't want it, you know, like super, this may, may be too dark. Let me get some of this down. I'm just kind of, um, what do they call it? Brainstorming. I was in college, uh, my creative writing professor. Um, I'll never forget him. I loved him to death. He was awesome. Uh, would tell us to cluster, you know, to get ideas. And to do that, we'd have to put like one, one word down on in the center of the paper. And then just every time a word, kind of like word association on paper. I always called it word vomit. Okay, so let's see how that looks. It gives it a little bit more oomph. I don't know if I should add any, any more to this. Kind of bring it out. But, uh, it was kind of really interesting to see where your thoughts actually take you. ever do the glitter glue thing and you get tails I find if you just pull it straight up and wait until the tail breaks off that way it doesn't go all the way across your paper so let's see if that looks any better Christmas maybe quite Christmas colors but not everybody does red and green you know um, I did purple and silver one year and it was really pretty. It was just very like soft, you know, I mean, not like royal purple, but, uh, so when this dries, I will glue it to this, I'll trim the edges and then I'll probably put three or four coats of Mod Podge, at least three coats of Mod Podge on it. Um, 
I saw a meme the other day. It was so funny. Um, I don't know if you know, if you've watched The Lord of the Rings. And uh, Boromir, when they're all at Elrond's place, you know, discussing who's going to go take the ring to, uh, to destroy it. And Boromir's got his head in his hands, just shaking his head. And, and the caption said, I don't know how many times I have to tell you. It's Mod Aj, not Maj Aj. Anyways, it's kind of funny. There's, I know a lot of people who call it Maj Paj. And it isn't Maj Paj, it's Mod Paj. But I don't guess it really matters, but... <laughs> so... Okay, well, yeah, we'll keep going. They're kind of pretty. I think maybe the blue is just a little too dark, which is why I'm kind of spreading it out a little. Just kind of giving it a light. Pardon me. Um, light coat. So. Alright, well, I'm going to do this. Uh, I'm not going to make you sit here and watch me, you know, edge glitter over seven circles, I believe, and then wait for it to dry. So, I'm going to go ahead and do this, let these dry, and then I will be right back. For me, it'll be a little bit, probably 20, you know, 20 minutes. But to you, it'll be just like a snap. <laughs> so, all right, I will see you in just a blink. Okay, well, I got them all glittered, and they're drying. So I'm going to set them upside, and I had this... I don't know, brilliant idea. Like I said, I'm working with, you know, thrift store and craft and or scrap and leftover stuff. So I thought since the edges were white that I would go ahead and I've got this metallic ice blue from uh, Deco Arts. A really pretty blue. Look at that. Anyways, I thought I would paint the edges. I don't know if it'll work really well or not, but I'm going to try. Let's see, this is just some old medicine cup that uh, a friend of mine gave me. Um, they do in-home nursing, and after each dose, you're supposed to throw these out. And uh, I asked her, I said, please don't, you know, I mean, don't use them again, obviously, for the patient, but... Uh, so she got me a nice little stack of them, and I use them for, you can see they're all kind of dirty, and um, I use them for little paints and stuff like that. But these have lasted me for a couple years already. <clears throat> when you're done, just rinse them out. Let me see, which brush do I want to use? I'm thinking I might just use a sponge pouncer. I think I got this at Walmart for like two or three bucks. Sometimes when you use a brush, it uh, it just leaves brush marks, and you end up having to use more paint than you would normally to cover it. But I love these little. They're called. They're, these are called spouncers. They're like pouncy sponges. Um, let me go get some water real quick. Okay, I also. Found these, they're little glass bowls. I can't tip it now because I've got water in it, obviously, but they're little ramekins. I got these at the Dollar Tree, four for a dollar, and they're perfect. So I'm going to prime my spouncer, <laughs> my pouncy thing. Get me my paper towel. I was using to wipe my glue off earlier. And let's see how this works over a, and put a little bit of the excess on the side, over a brush. Oh, see, now I like that. Can you tell? 
I mean, you probably need a second coat. But this just seems to cover it really nicely. But it is leaving like bubbles from the water. I think I didn't um, I didn't take out enough of the water when I when I squeezed it out. But there's a lot of acrylic artists out there who say to prime your brushes with you know with water before you start. And of course, you squeeze out most of the water when, before you dip it in the paint. But with with it being a sponge, I don't think I, I uh, squeezed out enough, enough water. But it's working really nicely. So anyways, I figured I would do this while the glitter's drying. You see that? You see how it bubbles? I don't know if you can see the bubbles on that. There you go. Whoop, wrong way. That's the way. <laughs> okay, my focus isn't working. Come on, a little bit more. There we go. Okay. Anyway, but yeah, I'll probably have to do a second coat. But it still went on a lot easier than... Uh, and honestly, some of those bubbles might just be because of the sponge and the fact that this surface is not smooth. It's kind of bumpy. So... But yeah, that's a whole lot faster than doing it with a paintbrush, to be honest. Oh yeah. Well, you ever hear that old adage, when it rains, it pours? Well, it's been doing a lot of pouring in my life lately. You know, it's like it seems just everything, everything seems to go wrong. And it's not that it's going wrong. It's just everything wants to break down at the same time. You know, um... I had to have a bunch of teeth pulled, uh, mostly stemming from a motorcycle accident I had many years ago, and uh, it knocked out a bunch of my teeth, so I had to have implants put in. And, you know, 20, 30 years later, the implants are going to fail. And I had an issue a couple years ago. I got on, I had moved to a different state, and the doctor that I started seeing put me on a medication that was like triple the amount I was on originally um, and it made my uh, my gums bleed so bad that my implants fell out that's I mean I looked I woke up looking like um, a shark attack happened in my mouth and I was the shark you know uh, it was, it was pretty terrible. So, um, I had to have the rest of my teeth pulled last month, the end of last month. And they were going to pull 10 of my top teeth. But they only ended up pulling nine and a half because they couldn't get the root out of one. And, uh. So it was, it was crazy. So I'm dealing with that, you know, and it's really hard to find good dental insurance. And I finally found some. And then 
one of my banks that I have an account through, you know, I was just going to auto pay my dental bill. And uh, they gave me the confirmation number. They said my bill was fine. It was paid. Uh, I got the acceptance, confirmation, whatever, that it was paid. And the money was even taken out of my account. Well, I get a letter last week stating that my bank rejected that uh, auto pay. And uh, I'm like, oh, no, 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 no. That's not right because you guys took the money. You know, if you didn't take the money and the money was still there is one thing, but the money is not there. So rigmarole and phone calls and griping and, you know, everything to find out what was going on. Come to find out the money was still there. They just reappropriated it, so to speak. <sighs> because apparently the account I'm using the routing number is only used for depositing money into the account. Not for like bill paying. So I was a little bit miffed because nobody said that when I told the lady what was happening and what I needed the routing number for. I let that dry some. And, uh, you know, she said everything was fine and they even gave me a daggum confirmation number. So, but it didn't go through. Now I'm getting nasty notes in my, uh, in my mailbox, you know, saying you need to pay your bill. I'm like, well, I can, I'm, you know, in a few days. I can't do it right now. So that's been fun. And, uh, then I'm trying to teach my 16 year old grandson how to drive. And I've got a, an old, old beat up car. Okay. He's 16. My car is older than he is. I mean, it's a 2003, okay? And, uh, but I've been, I keep care, I keep, I take care of it, you know? I just had new tires put on it. You know, I mean, I, the oil change, I'm very, I'm very, uh, fastidious about my vehicle. And, uh, and I've been letting him drive with me in the car with him, obviously, and trying to teach him for, Oh, for several months now. And we were out Saturday driving and, oh my gosh, um, he had something in his eye. So he said, I need to pull over. So I said, okay, there was a park nearby. So we pulled into the park and pulled up into a little parking spot off to, you know, next to the basketball courts. And uh, he goes to put it in park. And then he took his foot off the brake and the car kept rolling. So the linkage or the shifter cable or whatever went out in my car. So we had to get a tow. And and then the, the place I normally have anything done on my car was closed. So I couldn't talk to them until this morning. And it's it's just been, and it really stinks because it's just before the holidays. That type of thing. So, yeah, that's still a little wet. All right. Well, me blabbering and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. And I got those painted. I'm going to do another coat after this dries. Those should be dry by then. Um, that's the, there's, I love these glue, these glitter glues. This is from Studio G. Oh, wrong way. Studio G. Okay. There it is. Okay. And they're beautiful colors. They have beautiful colors, but they take forever to dry. They really do. I mean, the colors are gorgeous. I I have glitter glues from Nouveau. You know, I have glitter glues from um, some other companies. Um, the one company that I like because of the variety of the colors in the shades that I like is Studio G. Now, it is. It's a cheaper, it's on the cheaper end of the, the glitter glue spectrum. But the colors are gorgeous. I absolutely love them. and uh, But they take a while to dry. So that's the only thing. But okay, so like I said, I'll be back in a little bit. Uh, for you, it'll be a blink. So I'll talk to you in a few. Okay, so I've got five of them glued on. Go ahead and do these last two on camera. 
And of course, my brain is, you know, thinking it's still not quite enough. It's not, I don't know, my muse is not happy. Put it that way. So I'm going to make sure the glue goes off of the edges all the way around to get a good seal on the edges. I don't know if you've done, uh, you know, the the Pinterest coasters where you use scrap paper and some, uh, you know, like leftover ceramic tile or whatever. But I noticed the very first time I did it, as the paper dried, I never had enough glue off to the side so the edges would curl up. <clears throat> and it ended up, I think I ended up doing an extra two or three coats of Mod Podge to um, to make sure they stayed down. I mean, I'm sure they were fine, but, you know, you want those rounded edges a little bit. So, and this time I'm making sure that, uh, that the edges are going to be secured. Got to be careful on that because I just rolled some of that glitter off. Uh, okay. Last one. And then, like I was saying, my mind was thinking it just wasn't quite enough. So, I figure on the first coat of... Mod Podge, I'm going to add some snowflake glitter from Stampendous. It's from the front, I think it's the Frontage line. It's called Multi Crystal Glitter Mix from Stampendous. You can see that. There it is. Anyways, and I thought that would, you know, give it a nice little. extra added sparkle. So we'll put that in there. Now I make my own Mod Podge because I use it so often I can't afford to keep buying it. And there are a bunch of different recipes out there. Most say half glue, half water. Well I usually do like five-eighths glue and three-eighths water, you know, that type of thing. It's a little bit more than half glue and the rest water. Um, just because I like mine a little thicker. And then I not only keep it in a container, I also keep it in a little squirt bottle. Sometimes it's easier to, uh, uh, where's my, there it is. Sometimes it's easier to, uh, to dispense in, in this manner. And let me put the glue up. And I forgot some more water. I had to rinse out the one with the paint. So let me go get the thing again so I can add some more. I'll be right back. Okay. So I'm just going to squirt a little and then I'm going to spread it. And I'm going to make sure it runs off the edges just a little bit. Okay, and then with that, I'm going to take just a pinch and just kind of sprinkle, sprinkle it around. And let that one set. And then rinse, repeat. A little bit more, I think.
I think this added glitter gives it a little bit more of an oomph. I don't know if you can see that very well. See how that works? And I'm going to let this layer set for probably an hour before I do my next my next coat. And then the next coat I'll probably let set for a couple hours and then do a third coat and see how it looks, you know, after that. Yeah, see, I think that's going to be really pretty. <clears throat> it's not giving me a good I have a feeling I'm going to end up having to go oops that's a bit too much um I'm um, going to have to go to and get a better camera, but obviously with my other issues, I'm going to have to wait. <sighs> because my car is old enough that if the mechanic that I go to all the time, because not all the time, but like for my tune-ups and my oil changes and things like that. <sighs> He's been trying to talk me into getting a different vehicle and uh, a better one, you know, because this one's so old. I'll wipe this off. And I'm afraid that that might be something that's in the, you know, it's going to be in the cards probably in the upcoming year. Well, unless I get lucky and win the lottery or, you know, some benevolent benefactor. Um, takes pity on a poor me. That would be one thing. But I'm good. God takes care of me. He does. I never go without. Maybe hard sometimes, but, you know, hey. What doesn't kill you only makes you stronger, right? Oops. Let me get him down. But yeah, putting the the Mod Podge in that little squirt bottle really does come in handy sometimes. See, the edges are starting to curl up because I forgot to press this last one down a second and third time. With the others, I kept going around and just pressing down. Okay. 
Okay, so I'm going to let these dry. Clean out my brush and my thing. Clean up my area. And when these are dry and I have two more coats on, uh, I'll come back. If I find, you know, that I have to add more glitter after the second coat, which I don't think I will because my coats are, you know, I'm leaving them pretty thin. I'm not making them super duper thick. But, uh, you know, if I have to do more um, of the glitter, I'll let you know. But I don't think I will. I think that will be just enough. And then after the third coat, I'll probably lightly sand the top and then do one more final coat because I'll want to sand the corners around the edges, get any excess paper or anything off, and then do that final cover coat. I may even use some glossy accents or some triple thick, you know, as a final final instead of a final... Um, Mod Podge coat. But this is what we got so far. I think those will make really pretty coasters. And if you didn't want to use coaster, make them as coasters, you know, they still have the holes here that you can poke and you can hang them, you know, from your, um, in your windows as Christmas decorations. You can put like a beautiful blue letters on it, you know, saying peace or there's seven letters, you know, C-H-R-I-S-T. No, not enough for Christmas, but, you know, you can do something fancy. And you can use other papers, too, for Thanksgiving, Halloween, birthdays, baby showers, anything you want. You can tailor it to anything. And, you know, I got lucky to find this at a thrift store, and I think I got it, the whole thing for 50 cents. Um, you can cut out cardboard you know, recycled cardboard from, from packaging and things like that and do the same thing, you know, just to hang them up, hang them on a ribbon or even string them all together again, you know, so, but I'm going to let this one go for now. Um, and I will be back very, like for me, it'll be an hour or two. If I don't have to do anything, it'll probably be in the morning. But um, for you, it'll be like that. So I will see you in a blink. Hi, everyone. It's me. I'm back. It is the next morning. I ended up doing four coats so far. And I added some extra chunky glitter. Um, it was dark blue. It's really pretty. It's that glass glitter thought to give it a little bit more but even after four coats it's kind of dull I mean it's beautiful you can see it so I decided I even trimmed up around the edges so I decided to go ahead and dig out the triple thick and I'm gonna do a layer of that oh my goodness hold on I need to go get a man haha <laughs> to open this for me because it's really stuck. I'll be right back. Okay. Yeah, that was a little bit much for my pride to take, but you know what? <sighs> Whatever it takes, right? Gotta, gotta do that crafting. Now, just a triple thick. I haven't opened it in a while, and I think some of the liquid stuck. I leave a little bit of a paper edge. I don't open the whole thing. One, I don't like it to dry out. I don't know if that makes a difference. It's just me. I don't need the whole thing open. But I'll leave a little paper edge here so I can rub any excess off um, and, and not have it hit this. So I'm sure it could have been worse. But for those of you that don't know, Triple Thick is just like a really strong or a thick version of Glossy Accents. And it's self-leveling. So, I'm trying to get some on here and then I'll spread it. 
you go. That should be enough. And it's like a it's like a really thick, heavy duty top coat type thing. There we go. That should be enough. And I like it because you don't have to worry so much about brush strokes in the coat, you know, or in the top coat because it is self leveling. You just want to make sure you cover everything. And it's also, it's like a high gloss type coating. And I believe, I believe that one is done. You see the difference with the high gloss? I even pulled out, I was going to do some lace and, you know, wrap them all up and you can give them a, as a gift, you know, wrap them in a stack. But then when I got to looking at them, I thought, eh, it's not quite, oops, not quite ready as, as in my book. So... So this is what I'm going to do. I'm just covering it with a coat of triple thick. You know, and I didn't even check to think if it was waterproof. <laughs> but I'm thinking it would be because it dries hard like acrylic, you know, just kind of like glossy accents. It's just, a, like I said, it's a whole lot thicker. Make sure I got all the edges. And it looks like I did. But yeah, you see the difference? Oops. So let me finish up these others and I'll be right back. Okay, so I've got all of these covered. I wish I could bring my camera down there you go so when when that hardens it should take probably for one coat maybe an hour ish um, but I won't stack them until probably after 24 hours but what I'll do is I'll stack them and then this is way too wide I already measured so I'll stack them and I see I shouldn't do this when I move these out of the way. And then I'll cut this lengthwise and use one strip and then stack them in time. And I'm gonna look and see if I have any felt. Um, or those little, you know, those felt dots that you can put on the bottom. So that way they're not stacked right on top of each other. And, you know, it helps with, uh, not messing up any, you know, wood finishes or any table finishes you want for it. That's if I decide to use them as coasters, which I probably will because I've already put the triple thick on it. But, um, but yeah, so I'm going to cut this lengthwise in half I bought some found and bought obviously but some beautiful lace pieces you know that and a lot of people would pass over because they're too wide for the project or they're you know what I mean they're not the it's not the right shade well you know you can buy a uh, white or ivory lace and dye it yourself you know, you can use your alcohol ink sprays, um, even glimmer mists. I've used glimmer mists on these, on lace. Um, you know, so you can dye it 
or color the white or ivory lace any shade you want. Even if you buy a yellow and you wanted a different shade or a darker yellow, you can always add, you know, your own coloring to it and darken it up or, you know, lighten it up or, you know, that type of thing. But, uh, <clears throat> but then I find myself, you know, thinking, Ooh, I like that lace. I ought to get that. I like that one. I ought to get that. I like that one. I ought to get that. And now I've got like a whole grocery bag full of, of different style actually it's bigger than a grocery bag but um styles of lace that you know now I want to use up I was going to use a ribbon but I thought I've got a little bit left on this roll so I figured I would use up you know what I've already got instead of opening something new or buying something new and I might put like a blue I might lace a blue piece of uh twine or yarn or not yarn ribbon or something like that through it depending if I can find a shade I like that I have I'm not going to go out and buy anything so but so on that note I'm going to go ahead and let you go um, if my project gets done before I publish this video then I'll I'll do the final all tied up and everything um, you know, I'm ready to go uh, at the end or might do a snapshot or a screenshot and do it at the beginning. I don't know. I'm still learning about this, this YouTube and videos and things like that, but, um, but I'm sure you can get the, get the idea, you know, they're just stacked up and wrapped in a ribbon, really pretty or lace. So on that note, I'm going to go. Thank you for watching. Um, if you like my video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you're not already. I'm still working towards getting my first 1,000. It's not about the money because, you know, I mean, anything would help, but that's not what I'm, what I, why I do this. If I, if it was because of that, I'd be on, you know, everyday campaigning and, and stuff like that. I just do this because I enjoy it. And, uh, I like to share. So... And if I find a good idea, I share. If I come up with one, I share. You know, there's a couple that were actually my my thoughts in my past videos. You know, like my steampunk dollhouse and my steampunk carousel. Um, that was a lot of fun. But, uh, yep. So, we're always remember, find the humor in life. If you don't, life sucks. And everybody have a wonderful and blessed day. Thanks. Bye.